diagram. Sharayu, you joined just now. Why are you joined as guest? Sharayu, Bade. Can you hear me? Sharayu. Shivani. You look for guest, Kirke, join Kirke, Mat, Mat Bolo. Sharayu has joined as guest. Uska attendance mark nahi hoga. Haas, sir, tukke mein bolti hu. जिसका आईडी है उसका आईडी से ज्वाइन करने का अदर अदरवाइज अटेंडेंस मार्क नहीं होगा गेस्ट कर कोई ज्वाइन नहीं करने का नोबडी शुड ज्वाइन एज अ गेस्ट बिकॉज़ दैट विल नॉट मार्क योर अटेंडेंस आई नीड योर प्रॉपर कॉलेज आईडी लॉगिन डोंट लॉग इन एज अ नॉन यूजर एज गेस्ट और एनीथिंग यू नॉट गेट अटेंडेंस डोंट रन देन डोंट कम एंड कंप्लेन कि अटेंडेंस मार्क नहीं हुआ मेरा So I can see Sharayu and she's not responding also. Log in karke bhaag ke kahin. Not even listening what I'm saying. Log in with your proper ID. Unknown user hai, bar bar aara hai, I'm not going to allow him. Without proper ID. There's one more unknown user. I'm not going to admit. Please pass this message, Shivani, to all. Unknown user, if you will come, we will not allow you to come. You have to log in with proper yes. college ID. Almost two weeks have gone. You should have a proper college ID. All of you. If you don't have, then contact our cursor and get your ID. Okay, sir. Okay. So let's start today's topic. Can you see this PDF? Can you see this PDF? Or no, no, sir. No, no sir. Can you see properties of solution? No. No, sir. No, screen share nahi hua. Screen share nahi hua. Abhi? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
हॅलो अरे सर आहेत का रे हो पाटील नाही काय काम आहे ते विश्वजित महत्वाच हॅलो बोल की बोल ना इतका छान तू कसं काय सर पाटील लवकर उठला सर कुठे गेले हॅलो असे आहे का बस गप्पे आबे आता सर च बिक्चर व्हायचं की नाही इथं बस दहाचे लेक्चर कस होते सर ऑनलाईन अरे बोलू नको आता जाऊ द्या प्रेसिडेंट or just the got disconnected okay so what is intensive property and what is extensive property can who can tell me sir extensive properties depend on the mass intensive properties do not depends on um the mass like the uh depends on the mass or the i'm not able to explain Okay, who can tell me now? Ritesh Kolapure. Ah uh, yes, sir. Ah uh, sir, it is depend upon number of particles. Intensive property. Okay, so what is in given example of intensive property? Can you give me an example of intensive property? Density. 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 डेंसिटी ऑफ यूनिट्स क्या है यूनिट्स ऑफ डेंसिटी मास पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम मास पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम सो डज इट डिपेंड ऑन द टोटल वॉल्यूम इफ इट इज मास पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम डज इट डिपेंड ऑन द टोटल वॉल्यूम नो सर नो right so it does not depend on the quantity volume is quantity right mass is quantity when i say grams per unit volume that means it does not depend whether i take 1 liter or 10 liters or 100 liters the density is going to remain the same right what is density of water 1000 kg per meter cube 1000 kg 1 gram per second right So density is 1000 kg per meter cube. So it doesn't really matter whether whether I take 1000 meters or 10,000 meters or 100,000 meters. Density is going to remain the same. So it does not depend on the total quantity or total volume of that material. So that is intensive property. It does not depend on the total quantity of the material. आप सब में उल्टा बोला था. Depends on total quantity. बोला ना ऐसा. Yes, and who was it? Nipur, who was it? Sir, I said mass, not quantity. Yeah, even mass. It does not depend on the mass. When I say intensive property, it does not depend on the mass volume of the material. Yes, sir. Independent of the quantity of the material. 
I take temperature and pressure, it does not depend whether I have 1 kg of material or 10 kg of material. Temperature is going to remain the same. Temperature is intensive property. Pressure is intensive property. It does not depend on the mass or volume of the material. Density is intensive property. It does not depend on the mass or volume of the material. What depends on the total quantity of the material? Give me an example. Sir, uh -huh. what is it? What depends on the quantity of material? Extensive property. Yeah, yeah, extensive property. I want an example. Energy. Total volume. Volume or mass. Total volume, total mass, total energy. Yeah, these depend on the quantity of the material. So those are extensive properties. Understand the difference between intensive and extensive properties. Okay. Because you're going to be using that throughout, right? So can you see this thing now? Property of solutions? Pressure and temperature are intensive properties, even composition. So when I say mole fraction is 0.1 or 0.2, it does not depend on the quantity of material. It is independent of the quantity. That is also intensive property. Because the amount is extensive property. Volume we have seen. Mass is another one. Right? So now we are going to talk about partial molar properties. First, is, let us understand molar property. What is molar property? What do you mean by molar property? Bush and Brothers. What is molar property? As I said before, if I call your name and you are not responding, that means you are absent. Right? Uh, Slok. Sir, molar property. Yeah, what does it mean? What is the meaning of molar property? Social gulati. What does molar property mean? Mosin Sheikh, what does it mean? Say if, if, if yes, you don't know, say no, otherwise I'll assume that you are sleeping or doing whatever you want no, sir. to do there. Respond, I want a response when I take a name. Vishak Kumbade. Sir, I can't recall. Yeah. Okay. So don't keep quiet, Ashwini Pote. This is like your attendance now. Sir, it indicates the change in extensive property of a like. Of a molar quantity. Yeah, it's a property of one mole, molar quantity, right? So when I say molar volume, what does what does molar volume mean? Umika? Yes, sir. Uh, when I say molar volume, what does it mean? Uh, the property. Hmm. Uh, solution of mixture uh, of molar uh, composition of mixture. I just said simple molar property, molar volume. So I say, what is the molar volume of water? Can you tell me what is molar volume of water? Definition um. R. What is the molar 
वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर धैर्य पटेल रिस्पॉन्ड यस आई डोंट नो मोलर वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर देवेंद्र मोहर है I didn't say gas. I said water. I didn't say water vapor. Sir, eighteen m. Huh? Eighteen gram. One mole of. Sir, eighteen. Eighteen gram. Eighteen meter cube. Sir, वो fifty five point two gram. मोलर मोलर वॉल्यूम का यूनिट्स क्या होगा? मीटर क्यूब सर केजी पर मीटर क्यूब हां हेलो सर आई एम ऑडियन व्हाट इज द मोल यूनिट्स ऑफ मोलर वॉल्यूम सर मोल पर केजी पर मीटर क्यूब मोल मोल इनटू डीएम क्यूब मोल इनटू डीएम क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर मीटर क्यूब पर मोल मीटर क्यूब पर मोल क्यूब पर मोल एक्सेप्ट मीटर क्यूब पर मोल और मिलीलीटर पर मोल और सीसी पर मोल मोलर वॉल्यूम इज वॉल्यूम है एक्चुअली तो वॉल्यूम का यूनिट्स ले लो वेदर इट इज लीटर्स और क्यूबिक मीटर्स और सेंटीमीटर क्यूब और मिलीलीटर दीज आर ऑल वॉल्यूम यूनिट्स राइट पर मोल दैट मींस पर मोल राइट पर किलो मोल हो सकता है पर किलो ग्राम मोल हो सकता है सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी सेंटीमीटर्स क्यूब पर ग्राम मोल और मीटर क्यूब पर किलो मोल और लीटर्स पर ग्राम मोल वेरियस यूनिट्स ऑफ मोलर वॉल्यूम टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटेंसिव एंड एक्सटेंसिव प्रॉपर्टीज बिफोर यू प्रोसीड दैट्स आई एम आस्किंग ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन देयर ऑल रिवीजंस इज व्हाट यू डिड इन पीसी लास्ट ईयर डू नॉट सपोज टू फॉरगेट ऑल दोस थिंग्स ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट पार्शियल मोलर प्रॉपर्टीज वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड मोलर प्रॉपर्टीज लेट अस लुक एट व्हाट इज पार्शियल मोलर प्रॉपर्टी So when you mix two liquids, suppose you mix water and ethanol, right? So if I take 50 ml of water and 50 ml of ethanol and mix them together, how much volume will I get? Any guesses? If I mix say 100 ml, let us take 100 ml of water, 100 ml of ethanol. How much volume total volume will I get? Any guesses? Will it be hundred? Or hundred? Or if you take fifty, fifty will it be hundred? Or if I take hundred plus hundred, will it be two hundred? No sir. Why? So volumes are not additive, na? No? Yeah, yeah, they clear the. <laughs> Okay, good. So properties of solutions are not additive of properties of its components. So, sir, screen नहीं दिख रहे sir. नहीं दिख रहा है. नहीं. नहीं sir. It looks like network problem. I got dropped out. There is network issues. I didn't realize I was dropped out. But okay. So can you see now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes sir. sir. Solutions are not additive of its components, right? So if I take, as I said, 50 ml of ethanol and 50 ml of water, total volume of solution will not be sum of volumes of pure component volumes. When a substance becomes a part of a solution, it loses its identity, right? So if I take 50 ml water and 50 ml ethanol, now Solution will have 50% roughly, not exactly. 50%. I mean, in terms of moles, uh, yes, it is 50%. So 0.5 moles water, 0.5 moles water. 
now, right? But volumes will not be there. Same. Volume volumes will not be equal, right? So what what happens? Why do you mean they measure partial molar properties? It measures contribution of each component to the mixture or solution property. So when I say partial molar property, it says what is the contribution of ethanol to the solution volume, and what is the contribution of water to the solution volume. So what happens? You know, if you have a group of four people, right? Four people may have some likes, dislikes, and separately, but when they come together, they are going to be some intersections. Some properties may be common. Some properties may not be common. So what happens? You know, a person if there are four people of same kind, and a fifth person comes in, that person will have to adjust to those four people. So that is not. So if you have two or five, five is there. So five will have to adjust to that person. Because those four people are having similar likes, the fifth person का भी like similar हो जाएगा, right? So it is basically company. That's what makes a difference. That's why I say ना अगर किसी को आदत आदत सुधारना है तो company सुधारो, right? Trends change कर दो आदत आदत change हो जाती है. Okay. So let us look at some basics. Suppose M superscript T is total volume of extensive thermodynamic property of solution. It could be volume, it could be mass, uh, and M I bar is partial molar property of component I in solution. The contribution of component I in solution. So M I bar is defined as double M T total volume, total volume value divided by double N I for that component. At constant temperature, constant pressure, and keeping all the other components constant at constant N J not equal to I. That means only I will change a little. Other component will not change. So if I take suppose I have given example of ethanol and water only, right? So if I add say we take ethanol water mixture and add some water to it. So I'm adding water, but I'm not changing ethanol. So moles of ethanol are constant; only water is being changed. That's what this means. Then I can measure the partial molar property of water. Any doubts, questions on this? Sir, what is N J? Can you repeat, please? What is N J? Okay. If there are two components, right? If there are two components, then N I is one, N J is two. Okay, two components, right? It's not water, right? Suppose I take. Okay, let me get the pen. <laughs> Can you see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Suppose I take two components, water plus ethanol. Right, and I want to measure the partial molar property of water. So what it says is. This is equal to double M T by double N water, keeping temperature, pressure, and ethanol constant. Right. So I am changing only the moles of water, adding some moles of water to the solution, keeping temperature constant, pressure constant, and ethanol constant. So in this case, I is water, and 
and that means I'm keeping temperature pressure constant then J not equal to R. So R is equal to water, right? So I'm saying NJ, that means N ethanol is constant. All other components except the property I'm measuring, this one for I is constant. Sir, ethanol constant rakhna hai matlab kya hai? Uska volume kya moles of moles of ethanol constant rakhna hai? Mixture mein jitna bhi hai, jo bhi hai, volume jitna bhi hai, moles jitna bhi hai, constant rakhne ka. Okay. Right? So yes, suppose sir. I take 50%, suppose I take 50 ml of water and 50 ml of ethanol and make a solution, right? Right? Then in that solution, I add say one ml of water, right? I'm adding plus one ml of water. I'm adding very small quantity of water to this solution, which is 100 ml. So when I add water, the quantity of water is going to change, and I is going to change, but quantity of ethanol is going to remain constant, right? Nj. Only I am changing, right? That's why this is partial derivative with respect to I, which I am using for finding the partial molar property. The thin component will be Sir, NJ not equal to I means. What is that? NJ not equal to I means. N, NJ and J is not equal to I. It is not NJ equal to not equal to I. N, that means moles of J component where J is not equal to I. Anybody has doubts on this? Samja uh, Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So that's what we are doing now. We are saying looking at taking a solution of ethanol water and maybe adding very small quantity of water to see what happens to the total property, this total property, empty, when I change some water, add some water. So what happens to this total property by keeping temperature, pressure and ethanol constant. So that will give me the partial molar property, Mi bar, partial molar property of water. Okay. Okay, so let's come back to that original one. So that's what this means. If I want to calculate the partial molar property of water, I is equal to water, then I'll take a partial derivative of total property, total volume, which I which will which will become after mixing. When I add a little quantity of water, and I means water and water, keeping temperature constant, pressure constant, and N J not equal to other means keeping moles of ethanol constant. Right? And total moles is summation of N I or I and J. Right? So M I bar is nothing but partial molar property, that's how it is defined. Increase in the property empty here total volume of solution after addition of one mole of I because NI divided by NI, right? If I add one mole, it is changing one this thing property by adding one mole to such a large quantity of solution. That means you take a large quantity of solution that its composition remains virtually unchanged. So if I take say 100 ml of water, just the example, if one ml water add here, so its volume com composition is not going to change substantially, very minor change is right? Virtually unchanged at constant temperature and pressure. So solution has to be large quantity and what we add has to be small quantity, so that the solution composition remains virtually unchanged. Thoda has minor change hoga, right? So I am I bar card? Definition. So 
So MIR is intensive property and depends only on the composition of any given temperature and pressure. We'll see that because it's not independent of composition, right? It is intensive because we are taking total volume and we are dividing by number of moles here, right? So it is volume per mole. So ml per mole or liters per mole or cubic meters per mole. So it has these units of volume per mole, which is intensive property. So what I have written here is n j not equal to I indicate that the number of moles of all components in the solution except number of moles of I are constant. Only I change karne hum, moles of I because we are adding say water. So moles of J are constant. That means ethanol ka constant rakha. I am saying I ethanol add nahi kiya. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. So let's come back, come to this thing. What definition tha, is me already explained kar diya mene aapko what I am going to show you here. What is physical meaning of partial molar property? It is a contribution that a component in solution makes to the total volume. Let's see an example, what we have seen just now. If I take a beaker, which has say 100 ml, let's be given an example, or 200 ml, it, can, it has to be large quantity, right? It can be one liter also. And add one mole of water, to a beaker filled with water. The volume increases by, because I'm taking water and adding water, right? Volume will increase by one mole of water as 18 ml of water. So one mole of water is 18 grams of water and density is one gram per ml. So volume will increase by 18 ml, which is 18 in 10 to the power of minus 6 on chahiye, 3 nahi. This should be minus 6 meter cube. And this is sort of molar volume of pure water. Okay, is it clear? So if you take water and add water, because water may water add kar rahe so it may be faragni padega, it may volume padega, it may water add kar rahe And that will increase by molar volume. But if I take a solution, or rather if I take ethanol in the beaker instead of water, and then add one mole of water, the volume increases by 14 ml only. The actual practical data, experimental data collected. Instead of 18 ml, par one mole water add kiya, 18 ml se increase hua volume. Same quantity yaha par liya humne ethanol. Or one mole water add kiya, it increase only by 14 ml. And that is 14 into this is called minus 6 on HEV meter cube. So this is called partial molar volume of water in pure ethanol. It is contribution of one mole of water to the total volume of now, ethanol water mixture, when we add water to pure ethanol. Samjha kya? Exam, difference, example se. Any doubts, questions you yes, can sir. ask? Sir, wo 14 ml ye kiyo bada? Because your environment hai uska, the in example, mein we are adding water to water, right? So, their composition is same, their properties are same, water and water. So, they mix, they, they will not, they will create space for water. Whereas, in ethanol, mein bonding is different, in water, mein bonding is different, right? So, what happens is that the bonding of ethanol is stronger than maybe that of water. And that is why it gives less space to water to expand. So it is essentially environment which is here, we are adding a little bit of quantity of water. Right? So what do you mean? It is not able to exert that, that much what you call space and take that much volume. Hello. Yeah. So it means that this is more density dependent. This is ये जो मोलर प्रॉपर्टीज है वो डेंसिटी पे डिपेंड करते हैं उसका सॉल्यूशन पे नहीं नहीं डेंसिटी डिपेंड नहीं करता डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रॉपर्टी एनवायरनमेंट पे डिपेंड करता है मैंने दिया था मैं बताया था ना इफ यू वांट टू चेंज द हैबिट ऑफ अ पर्सन उसको अच्छे दोस्तों के साथ मिक्स कर दो राइट होता है कि नहीं कि वी हैव वी हैव ग्रुप ऑफ फोर फाइव पीपल हु आर हैव सिमिलर हैबिट्स पांचवा जो आएगा 
तो उसके भी आदत जो चार पांच पहले पहले तीन चार जो गए उनके साथ में समान ही हो जाएगी होता है कि नहीं तो ऐसा हो जाता है कि बिकॉज योर एनवायरमेंट इज डिफरेंट दिस एनवायरमेंट इज प्योर इथेनॉल एंड दिस वाटर इज एडेड तो एनवायरमेंट की वजह से उसका वॉल्यूम कम हो जाता है इट्स नॉट एबल टॉक सर व्हाट इन एवल या सर व्हाट हैपन व्हेन आई ऐड इथेनॉल इन इथेनॉल इट विल बी सेम व्हेन आई ऐड वन मोल जस्ट लाइक जस्ट लाइक वाटर टू वाटर इफ आई ऐड इथेनॉल टू इथेनॉल इट विल ऑक्युपाय सेम इतना जो मोलर वॉल्यूम ऑफ इतना हो जाएगा उतना ऐड करें होगा इतना इंक्रीज होगा इफ आई ऐड इतना टू वाटर अगेन उल्टा ही हो जाएगा इट विल बी डिफरेंट सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एनवायरमेंट इफ ये अगर सेम है तो यहां पे मोलर वॉल्यूम से इंक्रीज होगा अगर ये सेम नहीं है तो मोलर वॉल्यूम से इंक्रीज नहीं होगा दैट इज व्हाई वी आर डिफाइनिंग पार्शियल मोलर प्रॉपर्टी क्योंकि एनवायरमेंट पे ही डिपेंड करता है कि कितना वॉल्यूम ये ऑक्युपाय करेगा basically bonding hai bonding between ethanol and water is different bonding between ethanol water and water is different bonding between ethanol and uh, water is different and bonding between ethanol is not different so bonding ki wajah se ye ho jata hai property se nahi hota you studied in chemistry right bonding ethanol ka bonding kaisa hota hai water ka bonding kaisa hota hai hota hai ki nahi have you studied it or not in chemistry okay Yeah, so the bonding changes bonds break and different bonds are formed. यहाँ पर क्या है water है water है तो bonding is going to be same. Whereas यहाँ पर जो bond मैंने dynamic से पूरे इसमें अगर थोड़ा सा water आ गया तो it will break the bond between ethanol and ethanol and bond form bond between water and ethanol. And that is what creates this different forces between ethanol and water and that is why the volume is different. समझा गया सर सो डिफरेंस द वॉल्यूम ऑक्युपाइड बाय मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर डिपेंड्स ऑन मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ सराउंडिंग वाटर राइट यहां पर वाटर सराउंडिंग है वाटर ऐड कर रहे हैं तो सेम है एनवायरमेंट सेम है जो ऐड कर रहे हो भी सेम है सो इट गोइंग टू टेक अप द मोलर वॉल्यूम व्हेन वाटर इज मिक्स्ड विद लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ इथेनॉल ईच वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इज सराउंडेड बाय प्योर इथेनॉल सिंस इथेनॉल वॉल्यूम is large right because you are taking suppose i take 100 ml of ethanol and add 1 ml of water pure surrounding mein pura uske ethanol hi rahega one, one mole is surrounded by lot of moles of ethanol and that is what creates a different bond between water and ethanol and that is why the volume occupied the water is different in ethanol than in water forces of attraction are different when it is water and ethanol and from water in water that is the packing Sir. of molecules of water in ethanol is different from that of in pure water right so one molecule of water is occupied surrounded by many molecules of ethanol when you add water to methanol ethanol and when you add water to water the water is surrounded by all the water molecules that clear it's called attraction repulsion or uh, force of attraction between different molecules and we'll see that partial molar property of component in solution changes with composition of solution because environment changes with composition right if i take pure ethanol the environment is different and add water to it if i take 50% ethanol 50% water mixture as solution and add water the environment is different in this case mein jo partial molar property rahega aur volume rahega to pure ethanol mein alag rahega 50% water 50% ethanol mein alag rahega it is intermolecular forces also change with composition and lead to change in thermodynamic properties of composition with composition so attraction repulsion forces jo bhi hai molecules ke beech mein wo change ho jata hai when the solution composition changes ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चन इज इट क्लियर टू ऑल यस सर यस सर 
Okay. Yes. So let us take, we have already considered this one. The density of water is 1 gram per ml. One mole of water is 18 grams and volume of one mole is 18 ml per mole. Whereas that of density of ethanol is 0.8 grams per ml. Molecular weight of ethanol is 46 grams per mole. So volume occupied by one mole of ethanol is 57.5 ml per mole. So you see the volume, molar volume, and it is pure component, is 18 ml for water and 57.5 for ethanol. And we have seen partial molar volume of water added to pure ethanol is only 14 ml. This is a measured quantity, which is partial molar property, which is less than the molar volume. Okay, so this rest of it we'll see tomorrow. If you have any questions, doubts on this one, oh, sorry, we have 12, 15 tak, na? Okay, so you have 15 more minutes. Okay, so let us continue. So what you have seen now is when pure water is added to ethanol water solution or pure ethanol solution, the volume increase, which is delta V, change in volume, is not equal to number of moles added into molar volume. This molar volume 18 thais ka water ka and we added one mole, delta NV was one, but delta V change in molar or total volume was not 18 ml, it was only 14 ml. Whatever. If you add one mole of water to pure ethanol, it should increase by 18 ml, ideally. In this case, we have seen it is increasing only by 14 ml. The delta NV is moles of water added. We added one mole of water, molar volume is 18, right? So, but change in total volume is not equal to 18 ml. But increase in volume is delta NV into VW bar, where it, VW bar is nothing but partial molar volume instead of molar volume. Right? So we have to see what this partial molar volume is, measure it, and then you can use it to calculate what is the change in volume when we add one mole of water. So VW bar will be equal to delta Vt, that is change in total volume divided by change in number of moles, when we change the number of moles, right? So that is the definition of partial molar volume. So if you have a very small quantity, if you add a very small quantity, infinitesimal, that's what we call it, to ethanol, then we get VW bar limit when this quantity of water added tends to zero, delta Vt by delta Nw, which is nothing but delta Vt by delta Nw, at constant temperature, constant pressure, and constant ethanol moles. We are just adding water. This is what we had defined before. Now we have actually shown how it comes. Any questions, doubts on this? Okay, so let's proceed. So in general, VI bar is equal to double VT or double NI, constant temperature, constant pressure, and suffix J, where J is not equal to I. So VI bar is incremental change in solution volume when a small quantity of I is added at constant temperature and pressure. And quantity of I is so small that no detectable change in composition occurs. The composition does not change significantly. That's why we have to add very small quantity of I. Questions, doubts? Abhijit Patil, you just joined the class, right? Abhijit Patil, can you respond? 
अभिजीत पाटिल प्लीज स्पीक अप अभिजीत पाटिल इफ यू डोंट रिस्पॉन्ड देन आई रिमूव यू फ्रॉम द क्लास Again, he has joined as a guest. That's why I'm asking you this question. I don't want any guests here because attendance will not be marked for you. Okay, so let's proceed. This is the last warning I'm giving. I'm not going to mark attendance. So total molar volume is always positive. but partial molar volume can be positive or negative what we have seen is in this case partial molar volume was plus 14 right when we had one mole of water to say a mixture of ethanol water or pure ethanol the volume increases by 14 ml right that's what it means but there can be situations where actually volume decreases it can happen and that is a case when we add magnesium sulfate to water at infinite dilution that means when when we add very small quantity of magnesium sulfate to a large quantity of water then the partial molar volume of magnesium sulfate in water is minus 1.4 ml per mole so if you add one mole of magnesium sulfate to very large quantity of water the total volume will actually decrease by minus 1.4 ml sir matlab jo total volume hai wo 1.4 ml kam ho jayega kya yes total volume kam ho jayega that's what it means पर मोल सर बट ऐसा क्यों वो बोला ना बॉन्डिंग है ऐसा बॉन्डिंग का है थोड़ा केमिस्ट्री का चेक कर रहे हैं बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन से वेसा बिटवीन वाटर एंड इथेनॉल बॉन्डिंग इज डिफरेंट बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन वाटर एंड वाटर इज डिफरेंट बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन वाटर एंड इथेनॉल एंड इथेनॉल इज डिफरेंट सिमिलरली बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन मैग्नीशियम सल्फेट एंड वाटर इज डिफरेंट राइट द डिक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम मे बी ड्यू टू ब्रेकिंग अप and subsequent collapse of open structure of water so bonding jo water ka hai water molecules ke beech mein wo bond break ho jata hai right between two molecules of water and then we have when when we add magnesium sulfate it becomes ion right magnesium magnesium ion ho jata hai aur sulfate ions ho jata hai and then there is a hydration of these ions so magnesium ions will get attached to water mo water molecules sulfate ions will get attached to water molecules so bonding changes So different kind of bonding happens when we add magnesium sulfate to water. That is why the volume actually decreases. Sir, so could we relate this to Raoult's law and its explanation as no, well? No, not related to Raoult's law. Okay. It's not related to Raoult's law, not at all. It's basically bonding, bonding between different molecules. How it happens? How what are the how it changes the attraction? forces between the molecules how it changes the bonding between different molecules so when we add water to ethanol pure ethanol it breaks the bonds between ethanol molecules and forms bond between ethanol and water molecules so that is why we have different volume there here when we add magnesium sulfate to water it breaks the bond between water and water molecules and then forms a bond between magnesium ion and water molecule sulfate ion and water molecule and that is why the volumes are different volume will decrease is actually any questions on this after is down hmm it up hello yeah bol बोलो 
का जो ग्लोबल वार्मिंग का जो प्रॉब्लम चालू है अभी ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हाँ वो जो ग्लेशियर है होता है वॉटर में पूरे ओशियन में आवाज नहीं आ रहा है आवाज नहीं आ रहा है एनीबडी कैन हियर एनीबडी एस कैन हियर दिस कन्वर्ट विल बी हियर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग मेरे को समझ नहीं आया उसके बाद का समझ में नहीं आया मेरे को क्या बोल रहे हो उसके वजह से जो ग्लेशियर मेल्ट हो रहा है हां तो वो अगर हम उसमें ओशन में मैग्नेशियम सल्फेट डाल दो हां तो जो का प्रॉब्लम है वो बढ़ते जा रहा है ग्लोबल वार्मिंग का नहीं 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 सिंपल नहीं है इतना अरे लेकिन कितना कम होगा लेवल राइज होता है मीटर में राइट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट माइनस 1.4 एमएल पर मोल कितना का ऐड करना पड़ेगा एंड देन इफ यू ऐड मैग्नीशियम सल्फेट टू सी दैट गोइंग टू चेंज द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ सी राइट पूरा एनवायरमेंट ऑफ सी चेंज करके पूरा उसके एनिमल्स फिश वगैरह को क्या होगा सर नो हैज नोबडी डन एनी स्टडी ऑन दैट ओके डोंट नो व्हाट विल हैपन इट मे रिड्यूस द वॉल्यूम हाई व्हाट कॉल्ड इन राइजिंग सी लेवल But it may have some other negative impact on the environment. Nobody knows that. Nobody yeah. has studied that as well. Yeah. Or maybe they studied. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Theoretically, yes, you can add this to reduce a uh, sea level rising. But then sea is so vast. You know, how much are we quantity? Seventy percent of the earth is sea. How much quantity are we adding? Like this, where will we bring it? नहीं सर Uh, sea creatures. Then only you can think about it. ठीक है और कोई क्वेश्चन है किसी को? Sorry, plus or minus sign. क्या बोल रहे हैं? What was the question? Hello. सर वो बोल रहे थे प्लस और माइनस सर प्लस और माइनस किसका पार्शियल मोलर वॉल्यूम इट माइनस मींस इट इज रिड्यूसिंग द वॉल्यूम राइट ये हमने देखा ना व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज इफ आई वांट टू फाइंड आउट द व्हाट इट कॉल टोटल वॉल्यूम चेंज राइट इंक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम और इट कुड डिक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम राइट डेल्टा वी टी इफ आई वांट टू फाइंड आउट बट एक number of moles which i have added into multiply by partial molar volume right so in this case when i add magnesium sulfate to water this is minus 1.4 and if i add one one mole of magnesium sulfate so delta vt is minus 1.4 that means it will reduce by 1.4 ml in the case of water and ethanol it was plus 14 so it was increasing The partial molar volume is negative. That means volume change is negative. This is delta Vt, right? This volume change it could be positive or negative. In case of ethanol water, it is positive because V V W bar is positive. So delta Vt that means change in volume when we add water to ethanol is positive. But when we add magnesium sulfate to water, the change in volume is negative. That means volume actually decreases. But हुआ 
ठीक है और किसी पे और डाउट है नहीं है ठीक है सो वी कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम हियर टुमारो शिवानी आई हैव वन रिक्वेस्ट आसिट ऑन टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज डोंट लॉग इन एज गेस्ट आई नो वन पर्सन अभिजीत पाटिल एज लॉग इन एज गेस्ट इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग आई डोंट नो लॉक करके कहाँ गया घूम रहा है सो रहा है आई डोंट नो सो इज हैविंग डिफिकल्टी वी हैज नेटवर्क इश्यू लेट मी नो इट इज पॉसिबल बट डोंट लॉग इन एज गेस्ट बिकॉज विल नॉट बी मार्क Anybody who logs in as an official chef is logged as guest. Attendance will not be marked. Sir, I have joined lecture okay. from starting. Ah? Uh -huh. Sir, I have joined lecture from starting. I have. I have not. Starting, just... but you are logged in as guest. You have to use the official. Don't... If you don't, I don't then get... ask for it. Then you ask for Sir. it. Okay. Okay. You have to ask for it. You cannot just keep quiet and you see lecture. Me, Aram, I'm sitting. So, what will happen? Attendance mark will not be marked. Sumit Sukhdeve, same case. Sumit Sukhdeve, are you there? Respond will not be done. Hello, sir. Who is this? Who is it? Tell me the name. Sumit Sukhdeve. Is it Sumit Sukhdev? Why are you not there? So Shivani, are you there? Yes, sir. So at least I have given you three names. I can see here as guests, and there is one unknown user who keeps trying to log in, and he doesn't even tell the name. There are two unknown users waiting in the lobby. Who is sir? Huh? सर प्रवीण आ रहा है क्या सर हां प्रवीण आ रहा है प्रवीण प्रवीण साठे यस सर प्रवीण साठे था बीच में अभी गायब है बीच में था ये है सर प्रवीण साठे से इधर ही हो ना ओके सर हां है ना इसलिए वो अननोन आ रहा था ना इसलिए इसलिए वो अननोन आ रहा था इसलिए पूछ रहा था हां नहीं अननोन यूजर आई डोंट देयर आर टू अननोन यूजर्स देयर इज वन मोर गैस विशाल वालुंज I'm not going to allow any of these people. Let them get a formal ID because the log attendance mark is not going to be there. Sir, you please share it on WhatsApp. What share? Ah, uh, sir, what are you saying? Sir, you are writing. Sir, PDF. PDF. What is it? सर वो बोल रहा है जो आपके ये नोट्स है ना जो आप दिखा रहे हो वो आप व्हाट्सएप पे सेंड करो व्हाट्सएप पर नहीं मैं टाइम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम्स में ऐड करता हूँ वहाँ पर जाके चेक कर लो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम्स अभी तक जितना भी मैंने दिखाया है पूरा वहाँ पर शेयर किया है मैंने फाइल्स है फोल्डर सी में अंडर सी फाइल्स फोल्डर में सब कुछ है अभी तक का इट इज़ अ प्रॉपर मीडियम ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू पुट ऑन व्हाट्सएप बहुत कुछ आता है एवरीबडी पुट्स ऑन व्हाट्सएप यू हैव टीम्स यूज टीम्स ठीक है अगर नहीं दिखता है यू टीम्स में तो देन लेट मी नो दैट यू आर हैविंग डिफिकल्टी फाइंडिंग इन टीम्स ओके ओके सर ओके सर इक्षिता यू आर एबल टू सी दैट राइट सिद्धि आई थिंक यू आर एबल टू सी ऑन टीम फाइल्स राइट यस सो व्हाटएवर आई हैव एडेड इट इज अ विजिबल ऑन files and a files folder in teams or ct2 i'll add this today okay so you can check it out there yes sir and you are supposed to take notes also in class sirf khali data nahi rehta hai understanding sirf isse nahi aane wala aur text c also is important so you should understand that but take care sir to you theek hai aur kisi ko comment hai suggestion hai doubt hai नहीं ठीक है विल स्टॉप केयर नाउ आई एम स्टॉकिंग स्टॉपिंग रिकॉर्डिंग नाउ